From the outside, there's only the slightest hint of horror. Even the obvious carnage indoors doesn't come close. This house in a village outside Kyiv is where two Russian soldiers allegedly raped two Ukrainian women who lived on the same street. What happened in here? Uh, yes. One of the victims showed us the room where she was attacked. Vika said the soldier who raped her on this sofa was the same age as one of her own sons. Why have you decided to, to speak out about what's happened to you? The attackers had apparently been drinking. Russian troops used this place as a base while they occupied the village in March. They forced Vika to the house with her neighbour, Natasha, but only after they'd shot Natasha's husband dead. It was upstairs where she was then raped. We spoke to Natasha by phone from Austria, where she since fled with her teenage son. A few doors down is the family home. Natasha's mum and their animals are all who remain. Much of the battle damage from Russia's war is plain to see, but quiet streets like these hold a less obvious but just as devastating trauma. It's a huge challenge for the police tasked with investigating these crimes. In fact, they've set up special teams to gather evidence of sexual violence by Russian forces. These police officers were out on patrol in the Kyiv region. The deputy interior minister said 10 rape cases are actively under investigation, with more being pursued. Я однозначно хочу сказати, що це дійсно вид зброї в умовах війни, і ми будемо вживати всіх заходів максимально для того, щоб Ці злочини були зафіксовані і передані в міжнародні інституції і буду і розглядалися під міжнародним трибуналом. Back in the village, Vika has just given evidence on camera to prosecutors. A vital step on the long road to justice. Deborah Haynes, Sky News in the Kyiv region.